We spent all of yesterday having what was a very serious and substantive conversation. If I may speak personally, I came into that meeting feeling one way, which is that we should focus on the grand consolidation of everything first. And after hearing everybody else's discussion, I've changed my mind and gone to what will be what we voted on uh, informally and had a complete consensus on yesterday. I want to read it clearly because I think it is probably the most important thing we've done in two and a half years since we've been at the BBG. Uh, the board adopted in October a strategy that noted the complexity of the BBG's structure. At a time of budget tightening and cutting money and stuff, it was inconceivable that we would keep a management and complex structure for the BBG uh, that complicated managing the resources, to some extent, in my mind, wasted resources and prevented us from maximizing our core talents and capabilities, that being the core talent of journalism conducted in the field uh, in pursuit of our mission. I believe the board is now ready to take action to strengthen the U.S. international broadcasting. Uh, we plan to do so in part by freeing up resources that are now locked in inefficient and duplicative administrative structures. We will reinvest that money in programming. Toward that end, based on yesterday's meeting, we are all proposing as a consensus two proposals, one directed towards our grantee and one directed towards the agency as a whole. They will be considered as a package, uh, as per agreement of what we did yesterday, because this is not really two separate approaches, but two prongs of a single approach that aims for the streamlining and consolidation of international broadcasting the way any other company would be and any other country does it, which is one great organization focused on journalism with many entities and uh, many brand names and many uh, divisions, but still unified and cohesive as one great organization. The first element of this package is grantee consolidation. After the year-long strategic review, we agreed at an open meeting voted on and discussed uh, last fall, exploring the feasibility of consolidation of the three grantee organizations, those being Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty, plus Radio Free Asia, plus MBN, into a single organization with shared services, while each one retains their journalistic missions and the successful branding and audiences they have come to know. The board engaged the services of a management consultant through an open process of selecting a management consultant. That management consultant was Deloitte. And we took on external legal counsel with Baker and McKenzie in order to get a detailed understanding of the potential costs, benefits, and major issues involved in the consolidation of the grantees. Deloitte reported to the board that there is a, quote, compelling, unquote, case for undertaking the consolidation of the grantees, and they projected substantial savings for the BBG during the five years following a consolidation of the grantees and, of course, thereafter. These are real funds, considerable funds, that can be used to enhance the journalism and on-the-ground mission of international broadcasting. Let me pause for a minute to make sure this is working and streaming on the Internet. Is it? Yeah. Well. Has this all been working? Steve, is it working? Is it streaming on the Internet? Yes. You know? all right. That's the question. All right. Yes. Uh, our legal counsels, well, now this is off, which is why I'll speak loudly. Uh, the legal counsel study the feasibility of merging the grantees uh, and confirm that we can do so. Um, it will be into one consolidated grantee subject to congressional notification and consultation. Uh, after we did this yesterday afternoon, 
the president was so excited that he announced this morning in order to preempt us that he's doing this for other agencies, including trade and commerce. Uh, I say that jokingly, of course, but what it was is it does show, and we have been in touch with the various people at OMB and others who are trying to streamline and reinvent government in all agencies and all places to eliminate duplication. So we're part of a larger process that I think most taxpayers would approve of. Based on the logic of our strategy, the briefings that we have received to date, and our very open and transparent discussions of this topic, I recommend uh, the adoption of the following decisions. Uh, number one, regarding grantee consolidation. Number one, the board announces its intention to issue the three grants, which BBG currently makes separately, to Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty, to Radio Free Asia, and to the Middle East Broadcasting Network to a single consolidated grantee. Once that grantee is created, subject, subject to administration approval, congressional consultation and guidance, and other due diligence in the implementation of a consolidated transaction plan approved by the board. Number two, the board instructs the IBB director, that being Mr. Dick Lobo to my right, working with Governor Mulhop to develop a plan for structuring, documenting, and implementing a grantee consolidation transaction, including the conduct of adequate due diligence and secure the services of legal and other experts who may be required to assist in this transaction. The IBB director is requested to provide such a plan and a proposed budget for its implementation for consideration at our March 2012 meeting or come back to us if there's some delay there. The IBB director is authorized and encouraged to work in close cooperation with the grantees. The board has authorized the IBB director to work with Brian Con Conniff, the president of NBN, who will act as a project leader for the consolidation in preparing the requested plan. The board directs and encourages all elements of USIB to cooperate fully uh, with the IBB director in facilitating the timely and accurate completion of the requested plan and budget. Finally, number four, the board also directs the IBB director, as soon as practicable, to prepare and transmit any congressional notification that may be required to implement the board's intentions as stated in this decision. Um, we want to move these separately, I guess. Or no, as a package. Can we move it as a package, Paul? Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. There's, uh, Is it one resolution? Or well, that's what I'm saying. I think it should be because I want it to be a two-headed strategy, but I had to... No, I, don't, I have no objection to it. Yeah, I, I had it I'm slightly differently asking. in my notes, but I actually think these are joint strategies as we decided yesterday. I'm not asking for a division of the question. Well, yeah, you're asking for a consolidation, which I am now about to do. I, I support those. <laughs> uh, in addition to focusing on our grantees, there's a strong sense among board members that we should develop and pursue legislation in order to find an optimal structure for U.S. international broadcasting going forward. Let me pause to explain for a second. We were faced with two options, or three or four options yesterday. One was consolidating the grantees and eliminating some back office and other redundancies, extra costs, whatever, streamlining them and making it so that they were one cohesive organization. Another option was to try to consolidate and rationalize all of international, U.S. international broadcasting, which has been jerry-rigged for about 70 years with different things being added on. We really decided that those should be pursued jointly in tandem so that at the end of this process we would have one very clean, coherent structure in which U.S. international broadcasting would run uh, more like a normal organization instead of having many different power centers uh, that sometimes uh, cause redundancies, extra costs, and extra tension. On behalf of that, and with Susan helping us naming it, we are proposing the International Broadcasting Innovation Act of 2012, and we will work with Congress and have already talked to people in Congress about how that would work. The board understands and it was reflected in our strategic plan and been discussed for the past two years in the development of that plan that it's important to restructure U.S. international broadcasting. 
to streamline consistent with this broader strategic plan, I propose to the board that we consider uh, and developing and pursuing legislation to achieve this purpose. I would like to propose that the board consider and adopt the following legislative proposal that we will be making. The board directs the IBB director to work with IBB staff and outside experts and with Governor uh, McHugh in order to develop a draft International Broadcasting Innovation Act for the board's further consideration. That draft legislation should have the following attributes. The organization of U.S. international broadcasting shall reflect the optimal mix of federal and non-federal assets required to best achieve the successful and efficient implementation of the board's strategic plan. And let me pause for a second. Just to translate, I've heard people talk, throwing about federalization, defederalization, whatever. There's no preconception in this plan, and we're going to have people talk about what the best hybrid organization, which we now have, is a hybrid, what the best hybrid looks like and how that would work, and we'll have uh, consultants on looking at that. Number two, the position of the CEO, Chief Executive Officer of U.S. International Broadcasting, will report to the Broadcasting Board of Governors. Uh, that position will be created of a CEO. That CEO will be empowered to provide the day-to-day -day executive leadership for U.S. international broadcasting and should have management authority over the federal and non-federal elements of U.S. international broadcasting subject to board oversight. The IBB director is instructed to consult with Governors Ash and Linton in developing a model to defining the appropriate roles for the board and for the CEO. Uh, three, we will recommend that the position of the IBB director as a presidentially appointed and Senate confirmed appointment should be eliminated and should be replaced by an appropriate official who will be selected by and report to the CEO. Uh, also, the domestic dissemination ban in Smith Mont, uh, we recommend, uh, should be repealed, and the BBG would be named to reflect the planned unified structure for U.S. international broadcasting. Huh. Uh, do I have a – I make that motion, if I may, and I might even offer Enders the uh, honor of doing the second because it was his two-year strategy planning that got us to this point. Enders? Second. All right. Uh, I now open it up for discussion and comments. Well, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to say with respect to one element of this. With I think you have to speak loudly. I think somehow with all of the talents of international broadcasting, we can't broadcast ourselves in this room. I'd like to say with respect to one element of this plan, which is 